My name is Laura White. I'm the superintendent here at the Kingsport Water Treatment Plant. Today we're going to take a trip from River to Fawcett, how drinking water is made. Most people think when you just open the tap that it's magic, but there are several processes that, that go into to making your drinking water. The city of Kingsport, we get our water from the South Fork of the Holston River. We have a, a very good source of water. We're located about a half mile downstream from the Fort Patrick Henry Dam. Another good thing about our source is it's very sustainable. During periods of drought, we've had no trouble sustaining enough water to, uh, to produce for the city of Kingsport. We're a 28 million gallon a day plant. And what I normally tell kids is if you fill a gallon milk jug up 28 million times, that's how much water that we're capable of producing. Uh, currently, we're at about 60% capacity, 50 to 60% capacity. So we have plenty of water for sustainable growth with the city. The first point of treatment is we get our water from the river and the, the water is pumped here to the water treatment plant. In the first step where we're standing, this is called the flash mix. And here at the flash mix, what we add is a, something called a coagulant, which makes the heavy stuff in the water settle out and the lighter stuff come to the top. And we add a pre-chlorine here. These are the only two chemicals that are added at this first step of the treatment process. After the water leaves the splitter box, it goes into five flocculation and sedimentation basins. The job of the flocculators is to mix the water, the, the coagulant with the water, and as it goes through the flocculators, it then goes into the sedimentation basins. In the sedimentation basins, the water continues to settle until it gets closer to the filtration process, which will be the next step that we, that we go to. This is the phase before filtration. This is the end of the sedimentation basin. The water goes over the weirs and through, through an intake structure into 12 different filters that we have inside the plant. After sedimentation, the next step is filtration. We have 12 filters here at Kingsport and our filters are made up of mixed media. This is a cross section of what our filters are made of. We have a layer of anthracite, a layer of sand, and several layers of gravel. As the water goes down slowly through this media, the suspended material that didn't get settled out in the sedimentation basin will collect in this, in this media. And when it gets to the bottom, you have a cleaner, clearer product, free of any suspended material. And every 72 hours, we backwash these filters, which means the suspended material that has been stuck in here, we push water back up through, and that water is sent to our wastewater treatment plant. This is the control room or command central. From this room, our operators can tell our filter turbidities from this screen. This screen has every filter that we have, which is 12. It tells us the level in the filter, the flow, the turbidity, the loss of head, and whenever we backwash a filter, we can control it from this screen. This screen tells us all of the process information in the water treatment plant. It tells us the finished flow, the raw flow, our pH, it tells us our river level, turbidities, finished, and finished chlorine and turbidities, and raw turbidities. This is a very important computer to, to monitor with. And this screen shows all of our tanks in the water treatment system. We have 22 tanks in service right now. And this, one, this screen allows us to show how much is in, how much water is in each tank, and it allows us to operate our pump stations from here as well so we don't have to go out to the actual site to control the pump stations. We also have uh, security measures here at the plant. We have security cameras at our river, at our intake at the river. We have cameras out back that monitor our sedimentation basins, and we have cameras at our front gate. Security is pretty important since 9/11. We always we have we put these cameras in then to monitor to monitor those situations. A major part of making sure that you have clean, safe drinking water is our bacteriological and analytical laboratory. This side of our laboratory is our analytical laboratory. On this side, we, we test for pH, alkalinity, hardness, turbidity, iron, manganese, and fluoride. This is the digital titrator that we use to measure hardness of drinking water. What we do is we take our, our sample of water and we add something called a reagent. And what a reagent does is it causes a reaction in water. So when we, when we add our reagent to the water, you should see a color change. As you can tell, the color changed. 
This color change represents our hardness of the water. We take how much we added and multiply it by a multiplier. And today our hardness was actually 84 milligrams per liter, which is a low to medium water hardness. This is our bacteriological laboratory. We're required by the state of Tennessee to collect 90 distribution samples a month, month, which means that we will go out in the distribution system in different areas and collect samples to make sure your water is free from bacteria. We'll take a sample bottle like this, we'll get a sample out of, out of your tap, when we bring it back to the lab, we add a reagent to this sample. We put the reagent in the sample, we shake it up, then we incubate it in our incubator for 24 hours. We also do samples every day on our raw water to show how much bacteria and uh, coliform and E. coli are in our raw source water. We'll take the same, same type of bottle and the same type of reagent. We shake these up and we place them in a sampling tray. We pour these in here, we seal them, and we incubate them for 24 hours. After 24 hours, we see if the reagent caused a reaction. This is our raw water. As you can tell, the reagent caused a reaction, and this shows the amount of bacteria that's in your raw water. So you can tell how much treated water, which would be this sample, which is free of bacteria, and our raw water. So you can tell that our treatment process has worked. After filtration, the water goes into the clear well. This is the structure that we're standing on. We have a million and a half gallons of storage here. In this clear well, we add, we add our chlorine and our fluoride and our corrosion inhibitor. It's stored here until it is pumped into our high service building. Once it's in our high service building, it's pumped out into the distribution system. We hope that you've enjoyed your tour today. This shows how drinking water is made from river to faucet. And it also shows that the City of Kingsport is dedicated to providing you the cleanest, safest drinking water possible. Thank you.